Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how to use Picture in Picture on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So sometimes you want to watch a video on your Mac while you're doing something else. Maybe you're doing research on the video you're watching or you just want to watch something while you're working or playing a game or whatever. You have the ability to actually watch video in a small window called Picture in Picture while you use another app or apps on your Mac. But how you do that really depends on which app you're using to play the video and where the video is from. So let's start off here in Safari because this is probably one of the most common ways to watch video in the web browser. So let's say you're going to go and watch a video in the web browser like this one and instead of watching it here you want to have it go to picture in picture so you can watch it while doing something else. So how you do that really depends on how the video is embedded in the web page. And there are many ways to do that. Different sites will do it different ways. Some sites have their own unique way of doing it. Here I'm using a customized video player at my site and you could go to Picture in Picture with this button right here. If you click that you can see the video comes out here. This is just blank now and it tells me that it's playing a Picture in Picture. I can now hide Safari and Picture in Picture stays here. I can move it to any corner of the screen I want by dragging and I can continue playing here. I can close the video completely here or click here to return to where the video came from, in this case this web page. Picture in Picture almost always floats above everything else. So here in the Finder if I do a new Finder window you can see how that's behind it. If I open up say Notes I can see that that's behind it as well. It will always stay on the top. Also sometimes you can resize Picture in Picture by dragging a corner. So I can make this pretty small or large about a quarter of the size of the screen. Now I said different sites will do it differently. So for instance let's go to archive.org and here's a video here. If I play this you can see the video player looks very different but there is a Picture in Picture button right here that you can select and move the video to a corner like that in Picture in Picture mode. Now one site where it's very different is YouTube and this is probably where most video is watched. So you won't find a Picture in Picture button down here in Safari. But you can still do it. In fact a lot of videos that don't have a Picture in Picture button can still be viewed in Picture in Picture if you either two finger click on a trackpad, right click on a mouse, or control click on the video. But if you do that in YouTube the first thing you see is this special YouTube video. It doesn't even look very Mac like. It's got different kinds of icons and font and everything like that and there's no Picture in Picture option. The actual context menu doesn't come up the first time that you control click. But the second time you control click you can see now the official Mac context menu appears and this includes Picture in Picture. So the trick is knowing you have to do that twice to get to the real context menu. Go to Picture in Picture and now this will work just like any other Picture in Picture window here remaining on top allowing you to move it to corners and all of that. And I can hide Safari now and do other things while watching this YouTube video in Picture in Picture mode. But how about other video playing apps? One is QuickTime Player where you just open up any video and play it. Now QuickTime Player is kind of picture in picture just by default here. I mean it's a little window and you can shrink it. You can move it into a corner if you want. It fills the entire window. You can see when I move the pointer away there's not even any controls there. So it's kind of picture in picture by default. But the thing that you won't get is it won't be in front of everything. You can see how I can easily hide the video there. But you can do that by going to QuickTime Player. Make sure you have that selected. Go to View and there is Float on Top here. So you can select that and now this window floats on top of everything. If I try to put notes on top of it it won't go. So you've got Picture in Picture mode kind of through the float on top which is even better than normal because I could put it anywhere I want and I could size it just about any way I want and I have the full set of controls. Now another place that you can use Picture in Picture is in the TV app. Of course the TV app is where you're going to have any movies that you've purchased or rented and TV shows and such. To demonstrate here I just dragged in one of my own videos so it appears under Home Movies since it's not something from Apple. And I can play this and it will go full screen. Let me pause it there. And I can use this button here at the bottom right and it will go into Picture in Picture mode. 
And then it's the familiar mode here with all of the same options. So there's a look at various ways you could use picture and picture mode on your Mac. Of course if the video player in a website doesn't support picture on picture there's really not much you can do. The same thing for different apps. They may or may not have a picture in picture mode. It's really up to the app developer and perhaps even the content embedded in the app. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.